All right, well, I just had a phone interview and I think it went well. And hopefully we have another new employee. So we're back at the shop. We've got a couple hours to kill between estimates. We are gonna get some winter weather this week. So I am gonna put the salt spreader back in this dump truck. I don't want to, but you never know. We might, we're, we're probably gonna need it. So looks like what's gonna happen. It's gonna be, so today's Monday. Tuesday night looks icy. Wednesday looks very icy. It's supposed to be like ice and sleet into Thursday and then there's possible another system this weekend. So I'd feel better if we had two trucks set up with salt spreaders just in case we have to be, you know, in two places at once. And then uh, we may have to help our buddies out at McLeod Landscape. And uh, he's having issues with his new F550. I guess the heat just went out and again, he's had nothing but issues with the damn truck. It's, I forget, like a year or two old. It's not that old. So it's at the shop right now. <laughs> uh, but that's got his, one of his salt spreaders in it. So I kind of, I owe him a couple favors anyways. Obviously, if you've seen the last video of us using the machine, he helped us out big. So I'll probably throw, you know, like I said, we're going to put the polycaster back in. And then if we need to help him out, he can either use a truck or we'll help him. So we owe him a big favor anyways. So we're going to do that now. I got to be, it's 1230. Got about an hour to kill. And then we got to go do another estimate. Kind of same as the one this morning. So that's the plan. I'm going to get the forks and we'll get the machine. What we did, what well, we do at least, we put these on pallets. So we can go in, grab the pallet, lift it up, bring it over to the truck, drop it, lift it up again, pull the pallet out, done. And then just, you know, put the spinner on and the straps. Pretty quick and easy. Uh, we did tighten the chain. This was really loose. Still is a little loose, but for what we need to do, it should be fine. So that should work. Got to get the Bobcat running and we need to get the tailgate off the dump truck. All right, we'll be back in a few. My next machine, I'm gonna get the quick attach. <laughs> Hopefully this battery's not dead. It's been dying on me quite a bit lately. Nah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's see. Can't show you guys the code. Alright, true test, let's see. Alright, we're good, cool. It's been pretty warm. Uh, the battery died on us when it got really cold last week. I charged it up, so we should be good. Uh, I'm gonna go grab the forks. I know last time we did this, way back, probably 10, 15 videos ago, I didn't really show the whole process of us putting this thing in. So I'm gonna try to show it a little better this time. Just a trick we used to do it. Like I said, we put it on a pallet, lift the pallet up, drop it in the truck, lift the spreader up, pull the pallet out. You can do it pretty much one person. So um, I'll try to show it a little better this time. <laughs> uh, we also got to take the tailgate off the dump truck, which I think we've perfected that too. So I'll try to show the whole process a little bit better. There's cat machines everywhere around here. <laughs> Release the pins. Uh, if you 
can see that. So he just took the pins off, and now I'm just gonna lift it up and back out. Simple as that. Right, now I gotta figure out where to put this. <laughs> where the fuck do we wanna put, ah, uh, let's put this over against the snow pusher. We're gonna grab the spreader. Said it's on a pallet already. So this is tricky because the pallet's obviously smaller than the spreader. So if you get under enough and tip it back enough, you can grab the whole thing. I'm gonna give the camera to David. straighten it out real quick and put the straps on and plug it in. It took literally three minutes. So if you're trying to do this by yourself, you probably can. You know, you're just gonna be able to get the the um, spreader off the pallet. But uh, before we would, you know, use straps, lift it with chains. You know, it's definitely the easiest way we found. Put on the pallet, lift it up, drop it, lift the spreader, pull the pallet. So as you saw, how easy that was. So now we just gotta strap it down and uh, plug it in, put the spinner on, make sure everything works.
and then we're done. What a day to be putting snow equipment back on the trucks. 66 degrees right now. But I guess there is supposed to be some snow showers in the morning. Not expecting anything of that. And then uh, the big concern is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Look very icy and some sleet. So we'll see what happens there. But we're gonna we're gonna slap one of the plows back on. So just in case. <laughs> might be in the way. Minute mount plows, that's how you do it in a minute. I've made the analogy before, if you're doing it by yourself, it's a five minute mount plow. So for anybody who's never hooked a plow, or one of these up at least, drive in, get your pins right, push the headgear up, lock it in, pull your jack, make sure everything locks in, take your uh, wiring, hook everything up, you're good to go. All right, we're all set if it does snow. Plows on this truck, spreaders are both in. Good to go. Now we're gonna go do another estimate, taking the van. We just got back from our estimate. Uh, went pretty good, just uh, gonna be a tough project if we get it. Uh, basically, they wanna replace their plumbing underneath the pool deck, and there's no easy way to do it besides cutting the deck and jackhammering and yeah. But we can definitely do it. It's just gonna be like a probably a week long project and there's probably gonna be two full truckloads full of concrete coming out, but it could definitely be done. So I'm uh, gonna give them an estimate tonight. Um, they also want an estimate for just leak detection, see if they can find the current leak they have. So, uh, but it sounds like they wanna go with the other option to do everything over. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, before we leave, we're gonna fill this truck with a bucket or two of salt. It is literally 65 right now. Um, it's supposed to be a little snowy in the morning, believe it or not. I don't think it's going to stick, but I don't know. Either way, if we don't use the salt tomorrow, we're probably going to use it on Wednesday. I'm going to be busy in a couple days on a computer doing these estimates. i got a lot of them to do. So at least this will be loaded up and it will be all set to go. We don't have to worry about it freezing. So um, we'll see what happens with that snow. I don't know where he went with the keys. What did you do with the keys to that uh, truck? All right. Just gotta move this truck out real quick. We threw the plow on the truck as you saw. Um, just in case, I don't think we're gonna need it, but the weather people around here don't know. And generally when it's usually 65 degrees, we end up getting snow the next day. That's New England for ya. Just this truck up a little bit. All in all, very productive Monday. Uh, today's technically President's Day, it's a holiday for most, but uh, we took advantage of it and got some estimates done, got some stuff done here. Uh, we got the polycaster back in, as you saw. Uh, we got everything ready to go for if we do get snow or whatever this week, I don't know if we're getting anything, but if we do, we just actually just gonna put the dump truck plow on, but we're in really good shape. We uh, we're gonna put two bucketfuls of salt in just in case we gotta go out in the morning or on Wednesday. 
uh, at least the truck will be loaded. It's starting to get low on salt. Still got a good amount. It's probably enough to last us the rest of the winter, but it's crazy. By now, last year we were on our second or third truckload. This year we still haven't even used the whole first load. It's crazy. big chunk here. It's a good thing we don't have to worry about this treated stuff ever freezing up. Even if it does get cold, this stuff has never frozen on us. Um, like I said, 65 right now. It's supposed to be I don't think it's going to snow, but the morning showing snow. Uh, showing like 35, 36, and snow from 5 a.m. to about 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Doubt it's gonna happen, but I don't know, we'll see. I got hockey tomorrow morning, so I'm not available. He's gonna have to go out. That's why we're loading the truck now, so if we have to go, he can crawl out of bed, come, the truck's ready to go. Uh, if we don't use the salt tomorrow, Wednesday night we're getting, well, they say we're getting an icy mix of sleet, snow, rain. So if we don't use this tomorrow, we're going to use it on Wednesday. Like I said, at least everything will be loaded up. I'm going to be pretty busy tomorrow on the computer doing these estimates, and i got a lot of stuff to do. So we'll be loaded, ready to go if we have to go. And then if we do need the dump truck, obviously we can throw some salt in it. And he's spilling everywhere. Let's see how much he spills. Oh, there's more. Right, he knows it. Oh, there's more. Oh my God. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. still learning so he's pre-treating the parking lot for tomorrow right. that's a yard two bucket fulls of the yard basically so with this unit it is a one yard unit but if we stuff it we can get about a yard and a half in it this is what one yard pretty much looks like and uh with the polycast if we stuff that we can get about two in there so on a good good day, we can hit all our parking lots and have plenty extra salt. We usually use about a yard and a half for all six of our properties. So generally, we'll fill both trucks and end up having to unload them when we get back. But, all right, we are good to go. I'm gonna go home and enjoy the rest of this beautiful weather. I'm gonna cook something on the grill tonight. It's actually really nice out. Uh, tomorrow probably won't be too much going on. I get hockey in the morning at seven. We'll be doing estimates throughout the day, so you probably won't see much of me tomorrow. And we will see what happens Wednesday, Thursday with the weather. So, fingers crossed we get some sort of snow or whatever. Well, good evening. It's Wednesday night. You probably can't see me and you probably can't see it, but it is coming down like crazy right now. Sleet, that is. Uh, it snowed a little bit, so we got a coating of snow on the grass. And it is sleeting like crazy right now and uh, very slippery actually. So can't really see it at all. Um, when we get to the shop, you'll definitely be able to see it better. But essentially what's going on is the snow I think is over. We were supposed to get a burst of snow, so that's over. Now it's supposed to sleet and rain and freezing rain for the next 48 hours essentially. Off and on throughout, you know, tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. So. 
Uh, we're gonna be a little busy, uh, at least salting. Uh, won't be dropping any plows or anything like that, but um, like I said, it is quite icy and slippery right now. Um, I mean, I slipped when I <laughs> got out of my house getting into the truck, but um, we're gonna go treat everything tonight pretty heavy. Uh, hopefully kind of get a good base layer down and uh, go back out in the morning and then just watch what's going on throughout the day tomorrow and just be on standby and uh, go out as we need it. That's kind of the game plan. Like I said, you probably can't see anything on camera right now, but um, the roads definitely look bare and just wet, but uh, there's definitely a nice layer of sleet coming down. And if I shut up, you can hear it pinging off the windshield. Not sure if you can hear that, so. We'll be at the shop shortly. The truck's already loaded up, and we're just kind of jumping and go. Um, we're actually gonna throw some ice melt in it. So that's the game plan. We'll see you guys shortly. All right, so check this out. Currently, this is the radar as of right now. We are literally right where that one little rain patch is. This is our service area. And then see right below it, there's nothing on the radar. Watch the radar, I gotta play it back, so give me a second. So watch the loop as it's been going the last couple hours. It starts coming in, kind of evaporates. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then when it does hit, watch, evaporates. Watch this area. Nothing. There's like a big bubble here of nothing. See it? It keeps going and going and going. Basically the whole entire time, this has been the last like three or four hours I've been watching this all night. There's been a bubble of nothing right around here. And then now a little patch of rain. <laughs> and of course, this is our service area. The rest of the state, rest of the northeast is all snow right now. Not that we're getting a ton of snow, but it's like come on like give us a break this winter so i don't know gotta make a decision all right we're gonna go out and salt you can probably see i just turned the light on the back of the truck a little bit of a layer of sleet ice whatever you want to call it a little bit on the ground it's switching back and forth between snow sleet rain it's a little bit of everything right now so we're just gonna go ahead and hit everything now. That way we don't have to really get up in the morning and worry about it. Alright guys, we're just treating these parking lots real quick. 
It's been uh, switching back between rain, sleet, and snow, so we're not really going crazy because we're gonna come back out in the morning, but um, it is quite slippery. You really can't see it on this camera, but it is quite slippery. I got David over doing the walkways over here. Like I said, you can't see, it's really dark in this parking lot, but um, it is quite slippery and quite icy. I'll get out real quick so you can see. I see up here in the light, ready? Really good layer of slush. Like I said, it is very slippery. So, we'll be back in the morning. I don't wanna really get up early, but I'm gonna have to. It's gonna be like this for the next like 48 hours. I'm also not getting much footage of salting because uh, it's late and I'm trying to get this done to go home. So, I apologize, but I promise tomorrow if we go out and salt, I'll have a lot more footage. Right, guys thursday morning it's uh about eight o'clock heading out again to salt one more time uh, we got some more sleet and slush overnight you see um can't really see it too much on the ground but a little bit of a coating it is a little slick and the temperatures are going to drop today so we're going to go hit everything again we did everything last night around midnight and then depending on what happens uh, we may go back out later this evening because it is supposed to get pretty cold and uh, there's going to be some more flurries and drizzle and all that stuff through the day. So um, we'll see what happens there. But um, either way, we're going to go out early this morning, but it's been back and forth between rain, snow, rain, sleet. It's just been a mix of everything. So uh, we held off and then uh, it started snowing again in the last hour. So it's actually slick again now. I didn't want to go out too early and then just waste the salt and have the, you know, the rain just wash it away. So, but that's our game plan for today. Uh, it did get pretty slick last night too. So we're just going to load this truck up. We still got a little bit left from last night. Going to load this truck up real quick and uh, we'll get out of here. See how much uh, salty drops this time. That's how they were running, running low on salt. Might have to get some more this week.
first one, and we did this one last night. Look at the slush. So, gonna hit this one heavy and uh, let it melt down throughout the day. It'll probably melt on its own, but it's gonna freeze up later, so this is gonna be a mess. I'm gonna salt David's over there doing the walkways. I gotta turn the music off so I don't get a copyright hit. And uh, we're just gonna go through all of them today. We're just checking up on the ones we did earlier. Uh, this one was the one that we did first, had a lot of slush on it. And you can see 90% of it's melted. Uh, we just hit the front real quick one more time and he's doing the walkways on the side. Forgot to do those with ice melt. Um, it's still snowing and it looks like it's gonna snow for quite a while. This is all ocean effect snow coming in, but if you see the temperature, it's not really sticking. Uh, it is gonna get coldest today. So I think what we're gonna do, um, we checked up on everything, everything looks good. Uh, we're gonna go back to the shop, load this truck back up and then probably go take a break for you know the, the afternoon and come back out either late this afternoon or tonight because uh, this is pretty much going to keep going all day and it sounds like it's going to freeze up and uh, get a little icy. So I think a lot of the stuff we did put down is going to end up washing away anyways. So, um, but we'll see. But that's kind of the game plan. So I didn't get a lot of footage, but just been kind of scrambling this morning. It's tough to film and drive and do everything. You know, um, you know, I don't have a dedicated filmer that can follow me around. So. But I know the salt and footage is boring anyways. Um, good news is we might have a pretty decent storm coming on Tuesday. I don't know yet. Fingers crossed. A lot of chatter about it, but I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say any more details. We'll, we'll watch that over the weekend, and uh, if that's coming, uh, I'll be happy. <laughs> so uh, we're going to head back to the shop, and uh, we'll probably be back later. The office uh, just got done salting. Kind of show you what the radar looked like. It's a mess. <laughs> So we are right about here. And as you see, it's been, we've literally been in the mix zone between rain, sleet, and snow. And if you watch kind of how it's been progressing, now the snow is starting to come back down. And then what's happening now is actually ocean effect snow. So it's still snowing pretty good, but this is all coming off the ocean and uh, the temperatures are dropping. So if you kind of watch, you know, see how it's, Keeps coming in, keeps coming in. So um, let me zoom in a little bit. So it's still snowing. This is our service area right in here. Um, I live actually right down in here. So where I am, as you can see out the window, it's raining down here, but up here it's still snowing and the temperature's are now at 32. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this because if this keeps going all day, um, like they're saying it's gonna, we might actually have a decent amount of snow on the ground later and it's it's gonna freeze up either way the temperatures are gonna drop um if you look at the temperatures look 23 25 23 31 all this cold air is coming down so this is all gonna freeze it's actually 31 already so we got to keep a really close eye on this well good morning it's 3 16 friday morning and we are all iced up Literally, <laughs> we just got a nice uh, little ice storm, uh, freezing rain for the last couple hours, and uh, we got a good layer of ice on everything. 
So, we got some work to do in the next couple hours to try to get this ice to melt. Um, so I'm gonna head to the shop, grab the truck, and go out and about and just start spreading material. Um, I don't know how bad the ice is gonna be, so where I am, like I've said in other videos, I'm a little further south from our service area. It's a, it's a little bit warmer here. It's actually 33 and it's it's all icing up. Uh, where we service, it's 28 and it looks like it's gonna be a lot worse. So, um, it's gonna be interesting. So, um, we'll see what happens when we get up there. We'll see how everything looks, but it's three o'clock. A lot of our places open between seven and nine o'clock. So we should have plenty of time to get out there and uh, get a good layer of, you know, ice melt down and uh, salt and stuff. So let's go. So we're just getting here to the shop. You probably can't see too well, but uh, we are actually, let me get my phone out and I'll get the light. We got icicles all over the truck here. I uh, probably see that. Windows are all literally all ice, see the glaze. The uh, ground's not too bad. The ground's actually not too icy. It is definitely icy, but it's not as bad as like the vehicle surfaces, like the van's all frozen up. Skid steer's frozen solid. The locks in these gates here at the shop are frozen solid. So, like I said, the ground's not too bad yet. It is supposed to still keep getting a little bit colder this morning. So, um, and it's been like 28, 29 degrees all night where our service area is right up the street. So, I don't know, for some reason here it's showing it's only 32. But we're gonna get on our way and uh, we'll see what's going on. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as I think. Um, I was expecting the worst when I, you know, <laughs> Got my truck this morning, everything was frozen solid, so I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Um, we'll just definitely put a light layer of material down on everything, and uh, we'll see what happens, and hopefully I can be done by like seven o'clock and get a nap. And we got a lot of work to do, because we actually have a snowstorm probably coming on Tuesday, so uh, today's gonna be a very busy day. Um, between what we're gonna do now, we're gonna prep for that storm. I'm gonna do a lot of the prep today. Um, it's gonna be a really cold weekend, so I'd rather do it today, and then uh, I got two estimates to do today too. So. Got a lot going on today. Gonna be a long day. And I got hockey tonight at nine o'clock, so gonna be a very long day for me. <laughs> So uh, got a, quite a bit of snow the last uh, 24 hours in this area, but none of it really stuck on surfaces. But you can kind of see on the grass, there's uh, almost probably two, maybe even three inches over there. Uh, we had ocean effect snow for like literally the whole day yesterday. And uh, we treated this parking lot pretty heavy yesterday during the daytime. And uh, it, whatever we put down burnt off all the snow. Uh, it didn't really stick either way on the surfaces, but um, even now with the ice, it's actually not too bad. Uh, there's definitely some icy spots, but it's not as bad as I expected it to be here. We're uh, right at 32. So if it was a little bit cold, I think the ground would be a little bit icier, but it's, it's not too, too bad. So this is our biggest contract that we do for plowing. Um, it's a pretty big complex. Uh, I gotta bring today's. I gotta bring the skid steer up here. Um, we pretty much bought that new skid steer primarily just for this contract. Um, but I gotta bring that up here today because we are getting a snowstorm Tuesday, and uh, we're gonna need it. Uh, it hasn't been up here all winter, so that'll be on my to-do list. We'll be back up here later today. Uh, I gotta find a spot to put it because uh, the spot we normally park it in is uh, this car's in it this year. So I'm gonna have to probably find somewhere else to park it this year. <laughs> That's not a big deal, but um, we'll bring it up here and uh, get it staged. We're not going to need it until Tuesday, but I'd rather get it up here and that way it's here.
right, this one's done. This one takes a little bit. Um, about 25 minutes to a half hour one person, which isn't too bad. Two people, we can do this in like 10 to 15 minutes. Just a lot of ice melting and getting out of the truck. I mean, it's not too bad, so. But we're gonna come back here, like I said, later today with the skid steer and drop it off and uh, get ready for that storm. So it's pretty good lighting up here. Uh, probably gives a better look of all this ice. See the glaze on the entire parking lot here? This is all iced over. So it's pretty slippery. The walkway too. It looks real nice though with the trees. Uh, trees are all iced up and some snow on it. Like I said, we got a couple inches of snow here. All crusty snow. Nothing stuck on the, uh, you know, the treated surfaces, but uh, we did get a good amount of snow out of this little, uh, well, I wouldn't even say a little event. It was like a three day long event. Literally it snowed. This started, God, I don't even know what day it is. This started Wednesday night. <laughs> started sleet, freezing rain, turned to snow. Ocean effect snow all day yesterday. And then freezing rain came through last night about midnight. So now we're on Friday. So it's been a pretty long event actually uh, with not much snow, but we got uh, three salts out of it, which is pretty much one a day. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, walkway treated real quick. And I got uh, two other properties to do. And then I'm gonna swing through and just check the ones that are open for business today. This is one of the churches we do. This is my family's church. Um, we, uh, obviously this isn't open today, but uh, it's gonna get done. But um, I'm gonna check the businesses and the apartments one more time, the ones that are actually open today, just to make sure everything's good to go. We still got a couple hours to it. It's only 5.15, so this went a lot faster than I thought. I woke up out of a dead sleep at like three o'clock. I was like, you might as well go out, you know? <laughs> so, um, we have till seven o'clock basically until everything starts opening up, so we still got plenty of time. Here's a really good uh, shot of this ice. I can put my uh, hockey skates on right now and I can skate on this, literally. All right, that should be pretty good. So, I'm surprised no one's commented on my salting technique yet. Um, all you comment warriors on YouTube. So I don't have like a walk behind spread or anything like that, just cause honestly this walkway I'm walking on is the longest one we do. Everything else is like stoop steps, really small walkways. So it just doesn't make sense to, you know, have a walk behind spreader. So a couple empty buckets and that scoop that I'm using is a uh, scoop from a chlorine bucket. If you look, our other buckets. All right, guys, this one's over. So that's gonna be it for this video, this storm, this week. Uh, got some work to do today to get ready for the, the possible storm on Tuesday, but that will be on our next video. So um, stay tuned for that, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we actually might get some plowable snow next week. Hopefully. But appreciate you guys watching. I'm going home. I'm gonna try to take a little bit of a nap, and then uh, we'll be back probably a couple hours to get ready for that storm. So check out the next video. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one.